Good evening, everyone. We hope you're staying safe and dry if you are in the Atlanta area. But thank you so much for joining us. The Stone Mountain Lithonia alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. The Emergency Response Team or ERT is excited to collaborate with our May Week Committee for tonight's event, What Are the Signs? where we will learn the basics of American Sign Language and key phrases in an emergency. Additionally, the month of May is considered Better Hearing and Speech Month, which will allow us the opportunity to raise awareness about different forms of communication and hearing loss. So to that point, I will begin by sharing some statistics. First, with age, being known as the strongest predictor of hearing loss amongst adults aged 20 to 69 years of age, with the greatest amount happening between the ages of 60 to 69 years. Secondly, men are considered to be almost twice as likely as women to have hearing loss amongst adults within that same age range of 20 to 69 years. And more than 90% of deaf children are born to hearing parents. It is also estimated that one in five American teens experience some degree of hearing loss. And lastly, about 30% of English speech is visible on the mouth with other factors that can help like body language or even facial expressions. The most common causes of hearing loss can happen as previously discussed with aging, um, also including loud noises over a period of time, head trauma, diseases, being hereditary, or even at birth or early childhood. So some steps to help manage the progression of the beginning stages of hearing loss could be to wear protective gear, earplugs, minimize exposures, or have frequent hearing tests done or wear hearing aids when indicated. So for those completely deaf though, or hard of hearing, efforts to assist with communication can include the cochlear implants um, and the use of American Sign Language, which will be introduced to this evening. Now, before we move on to the instructors, I would like to inform you that this session is being recorded and also please feel free to turn your cameras on to engage with us. We'd like to make sure you're motioning the hand signs correctly and pictures will be taken throughout. If you have any questions, please be sure to note them in the chat box or use the raised hand feature. Next slide, please. We will now move along with the agenda, having the introduction of speakers, the actual education session itself, and then we'll have the participation survey. So I can't stress this enough. Please, before you log off, please, please be sure to complete the survey. Um, either click the link in the chat box or we'll have a QR scan code to help that way. But it's very important that we receive your feedback because that will let us know how much you were able to benefit from the program, what we did well or what we could do to improve, and if you'd like to see more programming like this in the future. So the survey is extremely important. So we'll have that kind of in conjunction with the question and answer session. And then after that, we'll follow an opportunity for virtual door prizes and then our closing remarks. So please stay tuned and watch the hand signs closely. I will now turn it over to Sora Lowry for the introductions. Thanks, Sora. First, we have Janet Hill, a native of Macon, Georgia. She has been in the interpreting profession for over 20 years. Janet is a service for the DeKalb County School District, as well as a freelance community interpreter, and has taught sign language on a national, state, and local level. Next, we have Sora Stephanie Cal Calloway. Sora Calloway has been a Diamond Life member of SMLAC since 1997. She has been a volunteer 
prayer interpreter at Antioch Baptist Church North since 1996 and has continued providing volunteer interpreting services for the sorority on both the national and regional level. And lastly, we have Soror Rosa Patterson. Soror Patterson is a native of Columbus, Georgia. She is a high school assistant principal and community interpreter. Her education includes Howard University, Gaudelet University for the Deaf, and Columbus State University. 20 years ago, she founded and continues to chair the Deaf Ministry at 4th Street Missionary Baptist Church in Columbus, Georgia. Thora Patterson is a member of Columbus Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Welcome, Prince Thank you. Hello, hello everyone. And we would like to say thank you. Thank you for inviting us here because we are excited. We're excited for the opportunity to share with you all a few of the emergency signs. But before we start, we would like to have a disclaimer that will actually state to us In case of an emergency, call 911. What we'll be learning here today is the alphabets, the numbers, and some selected signs that are being presented as a brief introduction to ASL, which is American Sign Language. Once you do have an emergency and it deals with a deaf person, make sure the operator is aware that the person is deaf and or hard of hearing. Our session overview, we're gonna begin with the introduction of numbers. Then we're gonna move on to the alphabets, some sign phrases, sign vocabulary, and then we'll have a video by a deaf responder. And she will be actually signing and there will be no voice, but there'll be captioning at the bottom of the screen. I do hope you all enjoy this because once we are completed with the presentation, there'll be some helpful links at the very end. So we're about to turn it over to Miss Stephanie in order to introduce the sign numbers. And she will come on once this video has played. These numbers will be from one to 10. Stephanie. Hello, good evening. I will use my voice just for a little bit, um, but where I would like to invite you all to practice. Um, and if you can, hopefully you can see me, I see myself in the screen, so I hope you can see me as well. Um, one of the things that I like to do before I sign, you see I'm moving my fingers around and kind of warming them up a little bit. So we're gonna go through the numbers zero to 10 and mostly because when you need to call 911, we want you to understand how to also read 911 if a deaf person or a hard of hearing person is trying to communicate that to you. So are you ready? And so Ross, I am watching in the uh, screens to see you all practice. Okay. Let's begin.
How did that feel? Let's try it one more time. I'm going to scroll around so I can see other folks. I'm nosy. Okay, ready? Tara Calloway. Okay. So we have a question in the yes. chat. Uh, the question is, does hand dominance matter? I'm finding it easier to use my non-dominant hand. So typically you will, if you're right-handed, you will sign with your right hand, but dominance does not matter. Um, you can sign it and it's funny, um, Janet was my teacher. So whenever Janet would be signing on at church on Sundays and I'd look and she'd start with her right and then maybe sometimes she would switch to her left. So um, it doesn't matter. So when we go through the numbers again, I'll use my left hand to show. All right, are there any other questions? Okay, let's start again. Ready? Oh, numbers, sorry, numbers. Uh oh, where's my phone? You're looking good. And is that hard to see? Is that hard to see? If so, I'll turn off my... Uh, yes. That looks hard to see for me. Hold on. I'm just going to... I'm going to turn off my background for now. Um, I can remember how to do it. Background filters. Let me just turn that off. Okay. Okay. It's... Start again. Got it? Let's see. Do I have a brave volunteer? Let me see. I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick on you. Uh, let's see. Gwendolyn, Miss Gwendolyn. Would you show me um, 911? Very good. Thank you for letting me call on you. Perfect. Yep. Nine one one. Perfect. 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 Okay. And Janet, do I think I'm going to kick it back to you, or we're going to go into the alphabet? We're going to move on to the alphabet now. Please keep in mind that at any given point in time, you may have a quick quiz. <laughs> I think you all did very great. But remember, we are doing this in a brief fashion. So we will be actually trying to re, um, how can I say it, reiterate what you're learning as we go along. What's next is going to be the signed alphabet. Um, all right, uh, Ms. J Ms. Hill. Yes. Before we go on, mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. It says, I have a partial amputation on one hand and scoliosis has crippled my other, would the hand with the amputation still be understood? Yes, yes, it will be. Because there are those who have some um, disabilities where it might be multiple sclerosis or, um, and, and they can still sign clearly and the signs still would be understood, understood because sometimes the hand shapes is just a small portion of um, the language. The expressions are also another part. So it does work together. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Any other questions? 
All right, we're going to move on to the alphabet, and we have a video that's been produced by um, Stephanie Calloway, and we're going to view that. Feel free to go along with this. You're going to try to play it twice. So the first time, if you want to just go ahead and get in position um, with your arms, your hands should be to the side because it's going to actually be your mouthpiece, so to speak. So be in a comfortable position doing the ABCs, okay? We're going to start the video now. Now you know the ABCs. Next time, copy me. <laughs> How'd you all feel about that? Give me some feedback. I think I saw one or two, um, one person doing it twice, um, A, B, C, D. Um, share with me in the comments, how'd you feel about that first pass of the ABCs? And I'm gonna cue this up one more time and then we're gonna go through it once more. Any replies yet? All right, then we're gonna- uh, um, Okay, yes. Good, I remember those from a child. Pretty good, takes practice. Yes. Definitely something I would have to get a little more comfortable with. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna, okay. we're gonna take a moment and um, play it once more and then we're going to do a review. One says P and Q give me a little trouble. I got a trick for that. Next time, copy me. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, right. another, another question. Does my ALS have to go in a current way? The ALS? Yeah, does ALS have to go in a, a I guess a American Sign Language have to go in a current? ASL. Okay, yeah. ASL, I'm sorry. And then someone says G and Z seem different from what I remember and from a child. Often I see FGH done differently. Can you show a side view of these uh, letters? Yes, yes. Thank you for all the questions. And I would like for everybody, um, when we see the alphabet, we as hearing people, um, we associate the hand shape A with A. We associate the hand shape B with B, but sometimes these hand shapes, they differ. For instance, 
This is the letter F. If you also see down at the bottom, this is also the number nine. This is the letter G. You could, if I show it to you this way, it's like this, but G is done here. But now just with a flick of the wrist downward, it's a Q. So guess what we have? GQ. Okay. Again, G, <laughs> all right? Now this is the K. You remember the peace sign? Peace out. Peace with the thumb right here, that's the K. Oh, oh no. When you drop the wrist, it's a P. Oh. You see that? P, K, P. Now do, let me see GQ, G, Q. All right. So, and believe it or not, those are the letters that actually have movement. One is up, the wrist goes down. The other one is here, the wrist goes down. There's two others that you just draw out. Can you guess what they are? You just draw them out. J and Z. Z. J and Z. It just loops. J and Z. All right? And then there are those letters that's in the palm of the hand. It's what I call right up in the palm of the hand. When you have this right here, this is the letter A. And I'm going to also show you this sign. Help. Help. Help the A out. <laughs> Help. So this is A. Now, if I move this thumb right here, you know, it looks like a fist, right? Correct, right? This is the letter S. If I put it in between my thumb and index, the letter T. I'm showing you this because we can jump around via the handshake of the letters that we learn as we know them as hearing people, the A, the B, the C, the D, the E and F. But if I were to show you the hands, the, the, hand, the, the, the letters in the shape of the hands, you would learn this language a lot faster. And that's why this is the A, this is the S, this is the T. Do it with me, please. This is the N. This is the M. Doesn't it look like three humps? And then if you put it right here, this is an E. All this by the moving of the thumb. The movement oh, of oh. the thumb. Moving of the thumb. The A. The T. The N. The M. The E. And then when we open it up, what does that look like? Oh, oh. An O. An O. Yes, I thank you for that. Because uh -huh. that helps when you said, you know, the difference between the N and the M as in Mary, with mm -hmm. the three humps, that makes sense. Yes. Now, when we open, this is the O. When we open it up, it's a C. Now, I'm going to show you a sign also. Guess what happens right here if I put this C hand? Choke. 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 So what do we have? Help. Help. Oh, I'm choking. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Yay. Is, all right. Let me show you this. Remember the E? Let's just shake it side to side. This is emergency. There's an emergency happening. An emergency. Now, you can't be smiling when there's an emergency, though. You got <laughs> the expression makes a difference, you know, because it's going to be like that guess what somebody needs to call what is this nine one one it's not Let, i can't see everybody at the same time but i know you all okay. are doing it let's just do it again nine oh nine one nine one one what does this look like telephone so if i said call call all right ladies you all are looking good <laughs> Nine one one. Let me let me also and we're still keep in mind we're still learning letters. Okay, this is the letter. Remember the letter G. 
if you put it like right here, it's a letter like D, similar to D, right? D actually goes out like this. But if we just do this, what number is this? One. Exactly. And we got a lot of signs that's going to be utilized with this one handshake. Just mm -hmm. like I, I'm about to show you. Go. 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 Now, go does use both hands in this case. Go. What did I just sign? Go call one, 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 one. Help. 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 Me. Me. Right. Yay. <laughs> now, when I do this sign, this is clapping. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you see me do that, that means I am happy that you all are helping, helping. you. Great, great, awesome. So we 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 started with the G and the Q, and then I shared with you the letters that go down with the the K and the P, um, the letters that you can draw the J and the Z, the letters that were in the palm of the hands. What were they? A A M S S, S T T e e N S M, 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 M E E. O, o C. 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 Now oh, we're going to extend upward, but I'm going to extend upward with the letter X. Mm -hmm. X. Can we see that? X. Now, if you pull the X down, just pull it down. That means I need something. I need, I need what? 911. Nine, 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 call. Somebody said, nine. I need. Help. Help. Right. All right. So we have uh, the X for need. need. We also have the um, the L. Now these are going to be letters that extend upward. Okay. The L extends upward. The U extends upward. Open it up, and you got a V oh. that extends upward. V is in Victor. Then you have a W. You also have a B. B is in four. B. I did it kind of backwards, but um, these again are the letters that extend in an upward fashion. And I'm only showing and sharing this because when we review the alphabets again, I'm going to attach some signs with them that I hope that you all remember. Matter of fact, I know you will because you're all doing great so far. The R extends upward. Can anybody no. look to see one that I have not done? Why? The Y, I would count that as an extension as well. There's another one that I'm looking for. It's in the beginning of the alphabet. I. I. David. Okay. D yes. D. yes. D is yes. That's it. That's it. Y'all good. Y'all good. So, so now that we kind of got a feel for that, I'm going to run you through the alphabets, but I really want to just add in the numbers. I'll tell you why. The numbers are so easy. You just wouldn't believe. You already gra grasp it already. So let's do zero, one, two. This is the three. Mm -hmm. Four, five. Now, six, seven, eight, and nine, we're going to count up on the fingers. Bring the thumb to the six. Uh, I'm sorry, the thumb to the six and the, the pinky. <laughs> and then we're going to count up, up. Six, seven, eight, nine. And with 10, we're going to shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the 10 around. <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Remember six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what's nine one one? Let me see. Let me see. What's nine one one? And when you do it, keep it in the same place. Nine one one. 
We're not going to bounce around because oh, okay. those who are deaf and hard of hearing, our hands are our mouthpieces and our eyes really are our ears because we see what we want to hear. So keep it in one particular position and just don't bounce, but 911. Now you can bounce with the double letter or the double number 11, that's fine. Or some people smoothly slide it, 911. And really it's gone before you know it. All right. Y'all did great with that. So let's kind of recap. Let's recap. And we're going to start with the A to the Z. And then we're going okay, to we, we, we have a question. Yes. It says, it, this is helpful. Is it always palms out? It's palms out for the, as far as the numbers. Let me start with numbers. Palms out with the numbers starting from um, um, one through 10. Now, when we get to 11, it turns around. 11, 12. 13, 14, 15 will be facing you. But then 16, 17, and 18, 19, they kind of turn back around. So there are some variations. And believe it or not, thank you for asking that. The um, video with the numbers, it actually will go up to 100. And everything that I'm sharing with you now, um, there is a link that will be shared with you at the very end as well. So we do want you to review because when I come back again, I'm going to give y'all a test. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> All right, let's get started. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, the W X Y and what do we do with the Z? We draw the Z. Now you know those A B C's. Next time will you copy me? Give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. All right. Now what I'm excited about showing you next are these sign phrases because you all know basic abcs and numbers it's going to help us with what's next your name in english we would say what is your name in asl i don't need all that name and we we have eye contact so if somebody was um distraught and you need to know their name you don't have to go up and say what is your name but you just say name and you look like you're asking a question say name not necessarily smiling hey what's your name you know that's when you're being friendly and everything is fine but in an emergency you and if hopefully they can share it with you but name remember the letter what's this letter and i'll tell you h. H. And h. h on top of h is name name now and does it matter does it matter which goes on top of which? Well, in this case, whatever your dominant hand is, that's going to be your top hand. If you're left-handed, then put it on there. If you're right-handed, then put the H on top of, make that your dominant hand, which is on top, H. Now, take the same H. You know how the medics have the little cross over here? Take the H and put it right here. Guess what you're signing? Hospital. Hospital. Who knew that? You get an A. <laughs> me. Okay, let's see who's me. I knew. Chitola. It. All okay, right. Chitola, put your name in the chat for me. Okay. Okay. Chitola. Very good. We got the H for hospital. Now, this is what letter? P. 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 
if I do the same sign with the P, it's patient. Mm -hmm. We have a patient over here who needs what? Help. Help. So P for patients, H for hospital. hospital. All right. And H on top of H right here is? Name. 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 What is this? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay. 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 Now, you remember this sign right here? Um, this letter right here? S. 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 This right here. Yes. 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 Is an S. <laughs> yes. Little bobble head. Yes. Actually, it's taken on the form of our head. Yes. It's a bobble head. It's like a head. Oh. Now, the no, remember this was in, right? No. If we extend it, it's going from correct. No. It's really, we don't have to do in and o. We don't do that, but we just put it all together as a, a modifier. As a, no. 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 Um, what's another way you can sign no without even using the alphabet? Just Take so you can so you no. no. Correct. Correct. I want to sign right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we got got it. Yes and no. Again, what is this? Okay. 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 Yes. 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 No. 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 Help. 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 Me. 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 Paul. Uh, name. 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 Hospital. Hospital. Oh. Patient. 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 Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> remember this. Remember this finger. The 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 one. I want to show you some things with this right now, um, which goes into our next phrases. Deaf. 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 Yeah. Now some people might come from ear to mouth or mouth to ear. Either way, it's okay because it's still deaf. Deaf. Now mm -hmm. when we take it here, this is hearing. Hearing. Because they associate this with us speaking. So if you ever, are you hearing? Are you deaf? Deaf hearing. Which are you? You know, are you deaf or are you hearing? Are you deaf or are you hearing? So that's the sign for what? Hearing. 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 Sign for deaf. Are you deaf? Now take the same index finger and put it together and just kind of um, make them feel like they're combating one another. This would be the sign for hurt. 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 Some mm -hmm. people twist the hurt because it oh, might be probably so bad, but mm -hmm. hurt. Hurt. And the same finger, just shake it right here. Guess what that is? Well, where? 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 Oh. oh, where? Okay. <laughs> where? I don't where? I don't need where are you hurt, but I just need to know where, hurt. where are you, where? or just hurt. If I'm looking at them and they're looking at me, hurt, where? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, pain is also the same for hurt, mm -hmm. but it's twisting. Pain. Some people twist. Some people just make it throb. But either way, it is hurt or either pain. Now, sometimes if you're really hurt and you can't use this um, both hands, they will finger spell hurt in the place where they're hurt. For instance, this is my elbow. I can't do hurt elbow right here, but I just, I do the sign hurt. Really, I finger spell the word hurt right here. Guess what this is? Where am I hurting here? It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. Got a headache. If I did something up in here, chest, chest, uh -huh. heart. Uh -huh. What about here? To toothache? Toothache. All right, all right, y'all, y'all, y'all getting it? All right. This is the five hand shape. I got a few signs I want to show you with the five hand shape. One five. If you push this finger forward like this, this it's is a sign feel. for feel. Feeling. Feeling. This is the area of emotions. Feel, feel, or feelings. Do you feel hurt, hurt. or pain? Pain. 
Are you hearing or are you deaf? Yeah. Are you deaf? Okay. You okay? You okay? You okay. Now let me let me add this as a bonus. Your name. <laughs> Your name. All right. All right. Well, I think I can move on. I think I can move on. Any questions uh, about? Yeah, well, we have uh, some statements here. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, Jatola, are you in Houston? Yes, ma'am. Houston alumni. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, I have uh, 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 Ag Tanisha Aggie Bell say she used yes, no, more, please, thank you with her son when he was a baby. She okay. forgot she knew them. Mostly Saxon say, don't forget the facial expressions. Yes. Uh, uh, Jamila Carr or Claire said, I'd pay for some sessions. And uh, Sarah Mosey said she too, would too. Um, and Alicia Adams says, I'm learning so much. And it's a bunch of Sarah, bunch of attendees say they'll be willing to pay for sessions. Well, okay. that is so appreciated. Um, but this language, especially the reasoning why you all are doing it, yes, it is so beneficial. And we, we are just pleased, myself, Stephanie, and Rosa, I know I can speak for them to say, we're just so pleased to be able to, to come and share a little bit of what we do know. Um, because you never know, you never know in an emergency situation what could happen. Right. Know if you are working with somebody who's hearing or deaf, and you never know how much just knowing the ABCs can help you. So with that, and I know my time is kind of like moving on, um, but I do want to get to some of these signs because, and let me share the reason why. Some of these signs you already have gone through. Some of these signs are associated with certain hand shapes that I've tried to make it easy for us to remember. For instance, deaf. Do it with me, okay? Deaf. Yeah. Hearing. Hearing. Now take both of these. This is the sign for S-I-G-N, sign. And it's coming this way towards you. Sign, sign. All right, still with the this D handshake or the one handshake. What do we have? Hurt. Hurt or pain. Where? Where? Now, right here is doctor. 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 And then the allergy, you're going to take the allergy because sometimes it's like, achoo, achoo, right? But allergy, allergy, it touches the nose or in the area of the nose, and then it pulls apart. This sign right here, this is a bonus, is opposite or opposite. I oppose you. This is opposite. We have a difference of opinion. We are opposite with that, okay? So that's just how allergy comes about it's something that's opposing in your body it's it's not being accepted all right so let's go through that column once more death yeah. hearing hearing sign hurt or pain where doctor, doctor. allergy allergy now on right. the next group is ambulance do you remember the b or the five hand shape mm -hmm. Cup it a little bit and just put it right here. Just ma imagine the lights are going around the ambulance. Do, 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 do. All right, ambulance. The deaf person can't hear it, but they they know this is ambulance. Now you take the same handshake that's cup and put oh. it right here. Guess what? Oxygen. 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 Now open them up. This is going to be the B handshake now. And what do we need? Heart. For breathe, heart, to breathe, 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 to, to breathe, and breath. then if somebody's really, really upset, you want to tell them what? Calm, calm down. down. Calm down. Yeah. Or you might say, "Stay calm, calm, stay calm." Or open it up. These are the five hand shapes opened up, and just wiggle it upwards, and it's like fire, fire. 
flames, fire, or yeah, that's an idea of the flames, fire, fire. Now, do you remember this sign? Feeling. Feel, feeling. Feel. Now, when I put it in the palm of my hand. Prescription. Medicine. I medicine. See, correct. I see, I see you, Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> medicine. 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 Now, or medical. 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 Medicine. We put it in the mouth. In like the mouth. Pill. But this is still the base sign. It really goes in between. Some people might not do that. You are you taking some medicine? Do you or do you have a medical condition? That's where that sign comes from. All from this particular handshake. So let's review that column right quick. What do we have? Ambulance. 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 Oxygen. 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 And try to breathe with it now, okay? <laughs> breathe. 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 Stay calm. Calm. Stay calm. calm. Fire. Fire. Medicine. 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 Now let's jump to the other one. History is going to be with an H. It's going to bounce in the same place. History. History. I'm sorry. History. Here's a little. Right here. History, hard of hearing. History, hard of hearing. All right, so we had history. History. In the video, you'll see the um, the deaf responder. She's going to come from her shoulder and do history. She's going to come from her shoulder up here and do history. But it's still the same. History or history. And remember name. Mm -hmm. Name. Mm -hmm. What? Hospital. 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 For patient. 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 Emergency. Emergency. Remember help. 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 And call. Oh. Oh. What do you call? No. Let me give you police or cop. This is the letter C and it goes right here towards Over the, the heart. heart. Mm -hmm. Where they will put the badge. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. now, family, because you never know who you need to what? Call. Uh -huh. These are the F's. The F handshake, and it's going around. It's Correct. It's, it's like a group. Do you remember, um, like the class? Class. It's like a whole group. You know, we're all coming together, right? That's where that sign is coming out of. We have C for class. T give us team. Mm -hmm. F give us a family. Um, o would give us an or organization. 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 So you get the gist of it, okay? So that's where family comes in. Now, if I do this, like Twitter. Interpreter. 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 Mm -hmm. Interpreter. Somebody out there got some of this already. Yep. Who, was, who was that on that one? Put your Wendelin name on this. Wendelin? Okay. Wendelin Good job. Now, ID is just finger spell. I and D. Uh, ID. Mm -hmm. All right, and you remember the yes, yes, mm -hmm. no, no, the you, and the who, me. Oh, uh, Miss Hill, it's someone me. said, would you please show the sign for a mask? Yes, um, you remember the sign for, well, mask, mask, because it goes. You remember the the little loops. Mm -hmm. And I have actually the pinky and the index. I think this is a sign like what they use for rock. Um, the interpreter is sharing it as well. Um, and it goes right above here. Mask, mask. And thank you for sharing that because we do- I asked that question. Okay, Miss Sylvia, you go now, <laughs> yay. <laughs> also, um, since we are talking about masks and we wanna stay socially distant, <laughs> you, this sign comes from the sign what do we call separate mm -hmm. separate let's have some space in between now okay so we can social distance use our mask because we don't want to get COVID-19 oh. COVID. COVID. remember the five handshake uh -huh. it just twists COVID COVID 
some people add COVID-19, but you nowadays, when we talk about COVID, we, we know what's going on. So um, thank you for asking. Thank you for asking that. Um, at this time, I want to make sure that you all feel like you have learned a little something about the what's this? Emergency. 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 Sign. Signs. Signs. So I'm going to sign it and I want you to say it. Just say it, okay? Hearing. 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 Hurt. 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 Or pain. Allergy. 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 Doctor. 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 Plane. Fire. 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 Calm, Calm down. down. Stay calm. Stay calm. Breathe. 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 Next. No. Where? Oh. Where? 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 Nurse. 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 I added. You did. Really? And that's nurse because it was the letter E on the pulse. I want to share this. Oh, um, okay. This I'm is, getting it now. I'm doing on the pulse. Okay, for the medical people. Got it. It just sunk in now. I got it. Ooh. And 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 just piggybacking off of that, if I do this handshake in this area, it could actually mean doctor or somebody in a medical field. Okay. When they start initializing it with the N in this area, Nurse. with the D in this area is doctor. doctor. So, but if you ever saw this right here, it's still doctor, doctor. or somebody in the medical field. Okay. Um, with oh. all of that, you all have been great. You've been great. And um, I've been great for some of the time, but I do want you all to view this video that's going to come up. It's going to go by a little quickly, but I think you can grasp it. I really do believe you can grasp it because most of what is there um, will give you a chance to actually see a deaf responder in action. Yep. So Bear with me and I'm gonna get it queued up. All right. Any any questions before we go to this? Good, good. Hold 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 all questions because after this video, we're gonna have a a, a, a quick test. <laughs> Everything we've said. <laughs> all right, thank you. So what did you all think about that? It was good. It was really good. 
It was, it was good. Real quick. Very good. Yeah. Very informative. Helpful. Very good. Very good. Um, would you like to see it again, or do you want to just? Yeah, let's do one more time as a refresher. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, listen, um, I have enjoyed this evening and um, I'd love to do a summary. I really would. But in the essence of times, I wanted to at least share with you all some helpful links and, and just say thank you for the opportunity, for the opportunity to at least share a few emergency signs. But always remember that disclaimer that in case of an emergency, what do we do? Call 911. 911. Call 911. So thank you all for attending. And um, I'm sorry, I just got to do it. I need your feedback. Tell me, what am I signing? Your name. Your name. Your name. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. Yes. No. 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 You dealt you are deaf. Are you are deaf. Where where are you hurt? Where you hurt? Where is the hospital? Where is the patient? Where is the patient? Oh, patient. Where is the patient? Feel. Do you feel? You feel fine? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just had to add one in. Feel fine. fine. Feel fine. It's in the heart area or in our big emotional area. And that's a sign for fine. Listen, you all have been wonderful. Been so wonderful. happy you, thank you. And I just want to go ahead and um, put the participant survey up and I'm going to turn it over turn it over to thank you so much next person thank you thank you thank you thank you awesome this thank is you. Awesome. okay i have one person saying the survey is still not working okay so we'll work on the glitch i don't know i got it you got it to work um yeah, i got it through the code okay so okay. maybe um, for those having issues, if you can try using the QR scan code that's posted here on the screen to see if that would allow it to go through. I'm not sure why the link is being glitchy. Um, we will also send out a notification after the session is done. But before I even get to that, I just want to thank our interpreters for being here for your time, <laughs> for your dedication. If y'all yes. knew there were oh. so many emails back and forth to make sure we provided 
useful programming for you all. And they did just that. So we are just extremely grateful. Uh, Miss Hill, Sora Patterson, Sora Calloway, thank you all so, so much for your help tonight. And we hope you as the attendees learned so much from them. I'm assuming you did. Thank you for the attendees joining us and spending your evening um, with us this week. So we, we thank you and we, heard, we hope you learned um, enough to at least get you started and wanting to maybe do a part two or a part three. But that's some of the information you can probably leave us in the survey when it works. So hopefully do the QA, QR scan code and hopefully that'll work for you. Um, so again, we've tried to address some of the um, questions throughout, but if you have some that you didn't address, list them in the chat and we'll try to address them with the email correspondence that will come out after the session because I do want to move forward with our virtual door prizes. So since we were able to practice along the way. Hopefully you all were able to retain some of that information and I'll turn it over to our interpreters to quiz you. So the first two prizes will be eligible for a $10 gift card. So we'll have two, um, we'll have a phrase that you'll have to sign. So the, well, we'll have a phrase that the interpreters will actually sign and the first person to list the correct word in the chat will win the uh, gift card. So we'll start with Sor Callaway. Can you see Sor Callaway? I think she was pinned so you can see her. Can you do that once more? Uh, I have an answer. Uh, where was by uh, Gwendolyn Davis? Kiana, I think is first. I'm sorry. Kiana, I think looking in the chat, is it Kiana? Because she had the whole phrase. Oh, okay. Where Wait a minute. is yeah. the patient? And correct oh, okay. phrase is, where is the patient? So and the name Perna. was? Kiana Perrino. Uh, Jacqueline Kim, who do you have? Mm -hmm. Kiana. Kiana Perrino. Kiana, can you spell that for me, please? I got it down. Okay, good. I got you. Try to work on two pages here, okay. Yay, Kiana, thank oh, I you. see it now, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the first person going to respond to correctly, um, I believe was D Simmons. Was did you say you need help? I need, need help. help. I need help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. D Simmons, you are the winner. Of Thank you. $10. And be sure when we call you out as winners, please list the email address that you'd want the gift card to come to, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, the next two prizes that will be awarded are for $20 gift cards Woo. because we are going to list a phrase and then whoever responds or volunteers to actually sign it correctly gets an even bigger prize. So $20 gift cards will be awarded to the next two volunteers who can sign the phrase correctly. So would you like to tell us or choose a phrase to sign? Yes. Um, now, let me just clarify whoever signs it will need to be able to see everybody at the same time. Um, if we can, we can have them spotlighted. Okay, very good. Listen, the first signed um, phrase is going to be that we like to see is fire, fire, help me please. 
wait, I raised my hand. Are we doing it by raised hands? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So I saw uh, Jackie, Kimbra. Very good. Some extra. Fire. I'm excited. Fire. 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 <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jackie. You are the winner of our first $20 gift card. Okay. And we'll watch, we'll do it by, again, um, so use the, use the raise hand feature and we'll select the volunteers that way. Ready? The interpreter had emergency and it went to the hospital. Again, the interpreter had an emergency and went to the, and went to the hospital. Mm. Everybody had an emergency and went to I can't hospital. raise my hand. Okay, Gwen. Okay. I, did someone call on a I see a raised hand here? Interpreter. Uh, hospital. Somebody doing it? The dog got it right. <laughs> that was real. No, sorry. Was, was, that, was that for Miss Gwen? Did she sign it correctly? Well, repeat the repeat the phrase. The, the interpreter had an emergency. Oh, I'm talking to the me. hospital. Talking about me. I, who was pinned? Because I see a Shanice Kimbrough doing it as well. Well, Ooh. I when when Davis White, yeah, in, interpreter. Uh huh. Wait, where'd she go? Let's see. Interpreter. Interpreter. Emergency. Go. Hospital. Very good, very good. Right. Wonderful, wonderful job. Now remember, when I come back again, I'm going to test y'all on all of this stuff. All right. Well, thank you all so much. Let's see. I don't know. Um, I, 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 I'm feeling generous tonight, okay? <laughs> so I don't know if you all can see our zoom background but there is a sign in the corner okay if you can see i don't know if um miss heel if you can remove sorry i guess start sharing the screen okay. for a little bit there and you go maybe that'll show in the top of our zoom background what are those hands signing if you can see that okay mosey saxton sent in it sent it right in dst mosey had it first mosey mosey Mosi has saxton ERT. 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 thank you mosey and please include your email address in the chat as well and mosey mosey also would like to know if you all are accepting mentees because she'd like to study under you. <laughs> sure. Yes. She was the one that has asked a couple of times different ways to, to you know, learn. So thank you, Mosi. Yay, Mosi. She is so serious about it. Yes, now she's she willing is. to um, bring snacks and everything. Oh. Uh, when we're allowed to get be back in person. I would um, be happy to do that, but you, you got to do one thing for me. And everybody has to do this, and I'd be happy to come back. Okay, what? Hey, clap the hands. Hey. Well, this concludes our session tonight for What Are the Signs? We thank you all so much for attending, and we are most grateful to our interpreters for sharing your your wisdom your knowledge and just for educating us to educating us here today so we thank you all once again and i see that we're still having issues with the survey um we'll send out the survey with the correct link 
for you all to complete along with the follow-up um, like videos and um, information or even images that were included with the presentation tonight. So we thank you all again and we hope you all stay safe, mask up, COVID free. At this time, ladies, I would first, as the emergency response team chair for SMLAC, I would like to thank Starrod Tanea Womack, who recommended, designed, coordinated, and e executed the emergency response team May Week presentation on What Are the Signs. Second, to the presenters, Janet Hill, Rosa Patterson, and SMLAC's Stephanie Calloway, without whom the em emergency, I'm going to get it, response team. Uh, would not have been able to put on this vital information from the American Sign Language uh, Association. And last but not least, to those of you who attended, I would like to thank you on behalf of the Stone Mountain Lithonia Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta for taking the time out to learn these signs. Being able to communicate with someone who is unable to verbally speak for themselves in the time of an emergency will be a great comfort. Again, thank you for attending and we look forward to your attendance at other May Week presentations and hopefully at our follow-up, what are the signs? Thank you, this is Patrick Elaine Ross, Chair, Emergency Response Committee. Uh, one more thing. We have uh, Sora Grimes with her hand raised. I wanted to okay. be sure address you if, if you have any questions or concerns. All right, Grimes. I just wanted to say hello to Miss Hill. I miss her so much from my school. Hey, Miss Hill. I had no idea you were Sora. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I love her. Thank I you, love Sammy. her. <laughs> And you know that Tammy is now working in Stonecrest. So this may be something we can bring to Stonecrest and do with your For sure. officials. And, For sure. Okay. Thank yeah. you all ladies from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> and I will never be able to thank uh, Tania Womack. So I Tania Womack. She has been outstanding. I'm going to miss her because she's moving up and will be a chair next year. So I'll have a new co-chair, but I told her she has to keep these great ideas going because she single-handed literally put on this event. All I did was stand in the background and watch her work. So thank you, Sarah Womack. Thank you uh, our, to our presenters again, Patterson, Hill, and Callaway and to Patricia Lowry for doing our introduction. Thank you, Star Ross. Thank you, participants. Hopefully we will see you at other May week activities. We have three more, four more days of activities. Please, please go out and look at those activities and sign up. Yes, thanks again. Star Ross, Womack. Sora Lowry and Sora White as well, who are a part of the ERT committee. And we appreciate y'all's help so much tonight. And then we also have our May Week co-chair, if you wanted to share a few words. Yes, good evening. My name is Deanna Williams, and I am a proud member of the Stone Mountain Lithonia Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and I am the proud co-chair of May Week. I just really want to say to the ERT committee that this was a phenomenal and much needed event. One thing I can say about Stone Mountain Lithonia, we are gonna provide quality programming and needed programming. So I wanna say to Sora Patrick Elaine Ross, I wanna say to Tanea Womack, I wanna say to the entire committee, this was needed, it was timely, it was relevant. And that's what we want to absolutely do, provide timely and needed programming. So kudos sororers, kudos um, members of the chapter, kudos to um, members of the public. We are here for you. We are here to serve you. It is our pleasure to serve you. Thank you to everyone who participated. Thank you to everyone who presented tonight. We certainly love you. We are just 
we are really in this for the right reasons. It is for service. We are Deltas and we are here to serve. So I am just, I learned so many things this evening. I'm gonna just be quiet, but I am on fire about all that I have learned this evening. I just wanna thank everyone for showing up. I just wanna thank the committee. Timely, relevant, and everything that we need. So thank you, Sororas. Thank you, everyone, for showing up to support this very needed event. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we would not have been able to coordinate all of this so smoothly and efficiently without our technology team. Mm -hmm. I know um, that has been such a big save during this uh, pandemic era. So we are extremely grateful for uh, our sores, Yolanda Pinkert and Crystal Harris and uh, Sword Deborah McLeod. Her team has just been phenomenal throughout this entire period, process, every meeting, every event, programming, and planning. So thank you all for your time and your effort today. And thank you to our May Week co-chair for allowing us, and May Week uh, chair, Sora Dilworth as well, for allowing us to put this together this week. Y'all have been awesome. Thank y'all for joining. Thank you. Thank you.